Hello and welcome to Rainy Day Crafting. Okay, today we're going to make a card that's very autumnal. Well, there's been rain in here lots today. But anyway, a nice autumnal card because we are, are now in the autumn months. So I'm going to use some dies. Um, and what I want to show you as well is sometimes, you know, your paper stash. We have sort of lots of paper stash. And looking at that, I think, oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? But... Look at the colours in there. You know, the overall picture is, is huge flowers and things like that. But if you look at it smaller, and what I've done is then cut out, which I'll show you here, rather than sort of spend time now showing you how to cut them all out, I cut out loads of leaves. Can you sort of see the colours that they produce are absolutely incredible, okay? And so, you know, as a, as a whole, where I'm going with this is look at your paper stash. You know, sometimes sort of fashions change a little bit. This is quite an old pad. I don't even know where I got it from. But, you know, you look at that and think, oh, you know, big old bold, but great colours in there. So what I did is cut out a lot of with the dies. And some I just want to show you because I've done these earlier to sort of save time. There's some gold shiny card underneath which was obviously these two are actually the same yep so um by cutting out some gold card and then sticking some of this design here's one like with a you know sticking that on top gives you quite a different effect i'm actually planning to do two cards today but so um not having much luck with my editing of videos yet but i'm sure i'll get there so with a bit of luck you'll see a hit and subscribe button come on here today because I've worked out how to do that, etc. But um, anyway, so there's loads of them. I'm going to put them to one side. So, and I'm also going, I think it's a, this will probably be the first time do some embossing. I have got, if I just quickly show you here, quite a lot all in size order of embossing folders of all sorts. Some of these odd ones literally have come sort of free in magazines, but they have such a lovely effect. And you put them, do you know, actually to save time, rather than sort of run it through my machine, here's one. <laughs> so if I just put it on in the place where it was, you will actually get to see it. You just run it through your machine. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Like so. So that would be just, so get your card, whatever size it is. Ideally this sort of size, just because it fit. Run it through your machine and look at the effect can you sort of see really really lovely so a great start to the card so again quite an easy card as far as i'm concerned then when i have sort of played with this i always thought drop your leaves and see where they land almost yeah because i just think you know leaves do don't they so what we're going to do is just pop a few of these on here you want somewhere where you can pop a sentiment or something um that one's not much good because that's not colors so there we go potentially um that might be a bit too much that color there there was a white one there we don't need that one necessarily so and then maybe that one there stick them down a bit all at different angles if you can oh, we definitely need to have that one there don't we and maybe this one on top so already quite an easy sort of card okay so let's just stick these down a bit of glue it's like, you see, like you can see this is literally your double-sided paper which is this one okay but like i say again if you look at that you might think oh it's too bright in its way but look at it differently if that makes sense so let's just put Up there, these two have sort of fell here. Almost like your autumn leaves fall. So, you know, pop them more or less where they are. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could pop some up on a bit of foam. I'll just use this one here because I think it's rather lovely. Um, these are the little glue bottles. I always think there's like a five second rule when you use some glue to sort of hold it down. Oh, 
can't just move that. Move it. Might take that, just snip that off there. One there. Right, what else we got? Colours in them. Anyway, there's another little one. So, might, might just snip that off there and maybe snip that off there. What I would tend to do is put something weighty on them, leave it for a little while. And then they're all set. Can you sort of see how we've got quite an easy card again? So I'm, like I said, I'm going to do two cards today. So that's that one. And then what I thought I'd do on here is sometimes, you know, you can put what, obviously you can put whatever sentiment you want. This one's just a tip here too. I keep all my sentiments, you know, the ones, the dye sentiments, in little bags. And I actually print them out as well, what they are. I know it probably sounds silly, but sometimes you look at that and you think, hang on, what is it? If I show you close, sometimes it's harder to see what the word even is. So that just makes it easier and it's very easy to find. So I've already run these through um, my... Whoops. One I've done earlier which is some card that coordinate okay so just miss miss you with you could do a few layers if you want to so what you do is pop it through the machine a few times and build up the layers or literally just have it on there layered as it is so but again you can put obviously any sentiment you want and i think you probably already realize i love my hearts so <laughs> i sometimes think i should have a system as always be a heart on the card always but anyway there we go so there you have it's just probably better with longer scissors actually because um you should trim off the edges, nothing like that it doesn't really count. So there you have a rather lovely card. Yep, so um, that's one. Now the other one I was going to show you is a bit similar to one, on, obviously on the autumnal themes. What I've done is run this piece of card, can you sort of see, through your dye machine work out what sort of card is going on i'm actually putting it here on just a square card so run those through the machine okay um which i did then and then i did it again to do the other one because you know you might you know you you don't you know work with the dies you've got and reuse some of your dies just put it at a different angle so then you have seen something similar to this that i did with butterflies get your piece of card and then what I have done, which I've already cut up for size earlier, this is some glitter card. Literally pop oops, that to go under there, underneath. Look at the effect. Really? So it's cut. Can you see? Really lovely effect. So let me just stick that down. I might just for easiness use double sided tape. I seem to have mislaid my sticky scissors for some reason. Don't know why, but they go, they'll turn up, I'm sure. You can also put a bit of glue in between as well. One of my tips I will always sort of keep sort of reminding you of is once you sort of stick this down it's worth weighting it down with a book or something so it really get the chance to stick well okay i do use glitter but i don't use it ever so much but anyway sometimes i just want to give you some different effects of cards so obviously i cut this to go underneath there it's literally There we 
have it. Okay, and then that is going on top. I was going to put a bit of enough, another piece there, but because it's actually not that thick, doesn't matter. So with that again, another bit of double-sided. Okay. Um, bit of glue you can put some sort of thinner double sided tape around here because you don't want it to lift up but um, I'm just using some glue I haven't actually got any um, foam you know the th um, the rolls of foam which I need to get because I've run out but you could pop some foam and actually lift that up a little bit okay so that make sure you can't sort of see the edge um from underneath there we go oh you can slightly see that it's just ooh, i might have to cut that off anyway oh the sun's showing in my room look at that absolutely lovely so then just to finish it off i've got miss you on this card and I thought, oh, a nice big sentiment, thank you, which would go on there. Yeah. So I might as well show you the magic, how it works. Or I've just mislaid my big block. No, I haven't. Um, just check if it will be in the right place. I know I've said this lots of times, but this Versamark, I believe, is the best on the market. It's a pigment ink. It's a black ink, um, but really good. Okay, this is quite a bold sort of statement, sentiment, but hold it down for a sec. There we have, and then here come my <laughs> my dirty looking Tupperware box. Really, like I say, if you do it and do it straight away, this should sort of stick on here quite. Okay, there we go. Pop that out of the way. Now for the little bit of magic heat gun at the ready. raised up as the heat gun's done that a little bit so what i'd be tempted to do is pop something heavy on that for a little while to make sure it all stick but just to show you the cards as i now finish so if you've enjoyed seeing my cards i need to be able to cut that off with a little knife because it's showing through two cards a thank you card and a miss you card with a bit of embossing on so um till the next time thank you